Hey guys, Jacob here. Uh, so, as you can see, 817 recently hit 1 million views, and I decided that to give back to the community, I will be showing you today how I create my EAS videos. Now, this video isn't going to be as polished as what I usually put out. Um, I've been working on a more sophisticated version of this for a while, but I, with work and whatnot, I realized that if I continue on with that project, I'll never get it done. So this video won't be as polished as all of my other videos, but it will illustrate very well what I do. Now before we start, just remember that this is by no means the only way to make an EAS video. There's dozens and dozens of EAS creators out on YouTube, and they all have their own way of doing it. So watch this video for inspiration and take bits and pieces of what you see here and find whatever method works best for you. Today's video will also be fulfilling a viewer request from Fraser D, so thanks for your comment. Uh, and if you have a recommendation for a future video, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I might get around to it. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so here we are on my desktop, and as you can see, the script is already written. And the first thing we are going to be doing is creating the spoken word text-to-speech audio for this video. So to do that, you will first need to open up your internet browser. I use Google Chrome. And you will go to this website here, sitepal.com slash text-to-speech. Now, I'll leave a link to this down in the description box below. Now, when you're here, click on Demo SitePal Editor, and you'll get this little window popping up. Welcome to the SitePal Editor. With our new editor. Now you don't need to do this per this first part, I just do it because I find a woman speaking with a man's voice very disturbing. Sorry, Caitlin. Then go into the Audios tab, go to TTS, which stands for Text-to-Speech, change the language to English, and then, very important, you will change the voice to Tom US. This is the voice used for the real e emergency alert system, and this is what you need for your video to sound the most realistic. Next you go to your script, copy the text you want Tom to say, hit copy, go back into the blue text box, and paste. All right, now what you do, click the little play button there and listen through for any errors. I'm just going to fast forward to this part. Transmitted at the request of the California Department of Public Health, CDPH is tracking the possible outbreak of a new infectious disease. The disease was first detected four days ago at the Santa Clara Valley Medical Center in San Jose. At this time, several hundred people have been hospitalized, and 13 have died as a result of the disease. All persons in the state of California are advised to take the following precautions. Practice proper hygiene, such as hand washing and covering your hands. All right, so as you heard right there, hand washing was pronounced incorrectly, so we're just going to go through and include, correct that. But are not You'll probably have to do this a few times. Sneezing. Headache. And then you can play it again to make sure it's correct. Alright, so that sounds good. So the next thing we need to do is make that into a file that we can use in our video. So for that we're going to open up our audio editing software, which in my case is Audacity. I like Audacity because it's very simple to use, has lots of built-in effects, and best of all, it's free. So once you're in Audacity, you will need to set your microphone to record stereo mix. Now, my version of Audacity came with this option built in. Yours may not, so I will link a tutorial in the description to teach you how to do that. And then, once you've done that, you hit the red record button, and then you the play your audio through. Is transmitted. The California Department of Public Health, CDPH is tracking the possible outbreak of a new infectious disease. The disease was first detected four days ago at the Santa Clara Valley Medical Center in San Jose. At this time, several hundred people have been hospitalized, and 13 have died as a result of the disease. All persons in the state of California are advised to take the following precautions. Practice proper hygiene, such as hand washing and covering your cough. Keep an eye out for possible symptoms of the disease, which may include, but are not limited to, coughing, sneezing, headache, nausea, vomiting, and a fever of 140 degrees or higher. If you are a loved one experiences any of these symptoms, transport them to a hospital or call 911 immediately. Stay tuned to local media for further updates. All right, so you can stop the recording. Now you can see our audio is in Audacity. We can go ahead and delete all this dead air at the start and end of the clip. So now our audio sounds pretty good, but it's too clean for an EAS video. Usually an EAS video has lots of white noise and distortion in it. 
So to get that effect, we will click on that box to select the entire track, go into our effects tab, bass and treble, and we'll just boost the bass up to about, eh, I'd say about 16 or so. And just click OK. And we'll listen through it. Made it at the request of the California Department of Public Health. CDPH is tracking the possible outbreak of a new infectious disease. Now the bass is up, but it's still not distorted, so we'll go into Effect, Amplify, turn the amplification up to around 5.5, and, and most importantly, click Allow Clipping. Of the California Department of Public Health. CDPH is tracking. Okay, so now it's slightly distorted, but we could still use some more, so we're just going to go back into our effects tab and hit Repeat Amplify. Is transmitted at the request of the California Department of Public Health. CDPH is tracking the possible outbreak of a new infectious disease. The disease was first detected four days ago. Alright, so that sounds pretty good there. Now, you could stop right here, but I like to add some light noise. So you go into the Tracks tab, go to Add New Mono Track, go to the very start of the audio, and hit Generate Noise. You will generate white noise with an amplitude of about 0.01 and select it so it goes for the duration of your audio. And then adjust it a little bit with the mixer just so it doesn't overwhelm, so it doesn't stick out with the regular audio. Okay, that's sounding pretty good. So all we have to do now is select both tracks, go under the Tracks tab and Mix and Render, and then go into File, and export audio and save it however you wish. And now your, the audio is complete, so now let's go over to the video side of things. Okay, so now here we are in Sony Movie Studio, which is my video editor of choice. As you can see, I have already imported our the audio we just made, which is called San Jose Virus. And next to it, we also have a file called EAS. That contains the header tones, the attention signal, and the end of message verse. Now, when it comes to header tones, I'm going to briefly touch on this. When it comes to header tones, a lot of people are hesitant to use them because of what happened in Montana back in 2013, and they're worried about criminal responsibility for th their video getting played on the airwaves, but I don't like to worry about that because if someone were to just get the audio from your EAS, they could still create a hack, so I don't worry about it. Um, and if you would like the EAS audio file, I will link a download in the description. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing for this video is we're going to be using the black screen. I like it because it's simple and it's my favorite screen in general. I believe Comcast Cable uses this one. So in order to create that, we're going to go into our Media Generators tab, go to Legacy Text, select the default text, and drag that down into the video track. Now this screen will serve as our static text as in non-moving so we can go ahead and we will select all the text put it down to a manageable size maybe 36 or so. That looks good. We will select everything again. We will go down into our fonts and we will choose the font called Sydney. This ha this gives you the computer generated sort of text field. Then we will type we will type whatever text we want to not move. Okay, so here we go. This is our static text. We can go ahead and close this box with that little X up in the corner. Open up the EAS.wav file in Trimmer. And we're going to trim it so we have the header tones and the attention signal. Once it's highlighted, just drag it down to the voice track. Now, I just do this so I can sync the uh, scrolling text in a way so that it fits well with the header tones. And while I'm at it, I've just decided to drag every all the other audio into the voice track as well.
we'll text the static text all the way to the end of the audio. I'll just give it a little listen through. Turn down the level so they aren't too deafening. The following message is transmitted at the request of the California Dep Everything's sounding good there. So now we can generate the moving text by going back to Media Generators and dragging another default text into our video overlay. We'll position it so it starts a few seconds after the tones begin. Once again, we'll select the text, delete it, go to a size 36 font, and select Sydney. Now we will type the scrolling text we want. This part gets a little bit difficult because you need to type it in a straight line, so you might you have to be really careful to check for any possible errors that you may have made. Okay, so the text is done, so what we do next is we flip over to the placement tab and we will drag it up so it fits well with the rest of the text and we will round up the y-axis to negative 0.6. You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. Then we scroll down, click on the animate button. We will click this little plus sign to add a keyframe at the start of the clip. Then we go back up to the placement window and we will move the text as far to the left of the screen as we can go. Now as you can see our Y axis has moved a little bit so we'll reset that to 0.6. Go back to the animation tab, select the very end and add another keyframe. Go back to our placement window. We'll drag the text all the way to the left hand side of the screen. And like before, we'll go back up and round down our Y axis. Now we'll just play through to make sure it's scrolling properly. Make sure there's no text getting cut off right at the end too abruptly. Now as you can see it's scrolling way too fast. Now we'll fix that by hitting our control key while dragging out the track. Keep on playing it back and getting it to a speed that you're okay with. Is transmitted at the record. That looks pretty good, so now we're going to right click the track, hit copy, go a few seconds after the end of the first clip, we'll right click and click paste, and now for this, when this window comes up you will select create a new copy of the source media and press ok. And then we have a little bit of space for another one so we'll do the same thing again, and then we'll hit, use, we'll hit the S button to split off the excess and just delete the last part. Okay, so our video is basically done at this point. So what we can do now is we can go into our project window, select Make Movie, save it to my hard drive, 
select whatever name you wish for, and then when you're, the file type, I usually save it as a WMV file, uh, 720p, 24 frames per second. I just do that for the sake of upload speed since our internet here in Canada sucks. And then just wait for it to render, and then your video is complete. Here is the video we just created. The following message is transmitted at the request of the California Department of Public Health. CDPH is tracking the possible outbreak of a new infectious disease. The disease was first detected four days ago at the Santa Clara Valley Medical Center in San Jose. At this time, several hundred people have been hospitalized, and 13 have died as a result of the disease. All persons in the state of California are advised to take the following precautions. Practice proper hygiene, such as hand washing and covering your cough. Keep an eye out for possible symptoms of the disease, which may include, but are not limited to, coughing, sneezing, headache, nausea, vomiting, and a fever of 104 degrees or higher. If you or a loved one experiences any of these symptoms, transport them to a hospital or call 911 immediately. Stay tuned to local media for further updates. And there you have it. That is how I make my EAS videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, once again, if you have any questions or if you'd like to suggest a topic for a future video, let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon so you join our notification squad. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.